hey guys it's me and i'm back so i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos up until this point um i was very reluctant to start youtube but because i didn't think anyone would watch my videos but you guys have been overwhelmingly supportive so it kind of like motivates me <laughs> so um a few hours ago what time is it it's um 10 minutes till six so a few hours ago i woke up and i had three really weird dreams back to back and you know how sometimes when you wake up and you don't remember all of the dream but you remember some specific parts so it was like that so i remembered um a lot from the last two dreams that i had but the very first one i didn't remember that much of it i did some interpretation stuff so i'm gonna look up what it means but first let's get into the dreams so the first dream that i had i don't remember a lot of it like i just said um i don't remember i only remember that that i was drinking like water from a water bottle like where is it this it was like a regular water bottle like this and i must have been like really really thirsty or something because in the dream like i'm drinking the water but i'm like like draining <laughs> draining the life out of this water bottle so i woke up and i was like why <laughs> what does this mean so i looked it up dreaming of chugging water is um a, a symbol for transformation so i'm going through changes hopefully for the better <laughs> so that's all that that meant it was a really weird dream though like out of context i was just like sucking the life out of this water bottle but it was funny so the next one next dream that i had takes place at like a church service but the church was my nana's house like sometimes dreams will do that like it's meant to be one place but it looks like another place that's usually familiar to you um so it was my nana's house but it was supposed to be like a church so we went to church which i never go to church just a disclaimer i don't go to church anymore i used to i grew up um as a christian going to church all the time and i still claim the, the christian faith but i stopped going to church years ago so i went to church in the dream which was weird um which was weird to start with i changed clothes after church like i think i don't remember what i was wearing when we were at the church but i remember being like dressed very modestly like i was covered like from like basically the neck like i dressed like i normally do very modest so um yeah i was dressed from like my neck to my ankles like i was fully clothed so i remember changing clothes after church because we were going out to eat after the service so i changed into like a white hoodie and um on the sleeve it said love in black like big bold like thick box letters like the word love um in black on the white hoodie and um the bottoms was like a skirt it was like a puffy like tutu type skirt it was very nice looking i remember that i remember being very comfortable very confident wearing it and there was a lady talking to me and we were talking like we were friends but she was a stranger remember in the last video um if you haven't seen it definitely check it out but i talked about how strangers in dreams serve as warnings so when you have dreams where you talk to strangers you have to pay attention to what they say so what she told me and i really made sure that i was listening because she's a stranger even though um we were talking like we knew each other like we were joking around like we knew each other like we were friends but i didn't recognize her face so i had to pay attention to her as if she was a stranger so what she basically said was deja you're going to be cold like deja you're going to be cold that's what she kept telling me and i was like i don't care <laughs> i was literally like i don't care like that was me like the whole dream um and she kept telling me that you're gonna be cold like uh she meant like in the restaurant i think like oh deja in the restaurant it's gonna be cold restaurants are usually kind of chilly but um because they're air conditioned but she was like yeah you're gonna be cold and i was like i don't care that's basically um what the dream was so that was it so after i was like i don't care let me be cold if i'm gonna be cold and then i woke up so that was that dream so now i'm gonna give you the interpretation of that dream that dream was really weird 
like um the last dream that is in my last video um my last two videos actually um it's basically the same information but a different format and i'm gonna explain that now so okay let's start with the setting so my nana's house or the church um so church represents religious beliefs or maybe it may be trying to say that i am seeking or in need of spiritual comfort which like i said i stopped going to church a long time ago like years ago so maybe this says that the dream is telling me to go back to church and um find that spiritual awakening again i'm not sure um but that's how i'm going to interpret it that's what i think it's trying to say hey i'm filming so my nana's house i found out that when you have dreams about like um places that you've been it um, usually is trying to tell you to remember something from that time in your life. So growing up at my Nana's house, my Nana's house has always been a place where I've never been like really comfortable. Like I don't like being there for a long time. Like I would go and like speak and maybe like spend some time there, but it was always a place that I would never want to stay for long. So now we're going to get into the part about the stranger. Why why is she telling me that I'm going to be cold? So I find this very interesting because in the last videos that um I talked I interpreted my dream with Jake Paul how my friends had blankets and everyone had blankets except for me. Um and blankets represent warmth. So in the dream everyone had a blanket. They had that warmth, so to speak. And I didn't have a blanket, so I would be there for cold. So it was weird that she said, Deja, you're going to be cold. But in the last dream, I didn't have a blanket. That indicates that I would be cold as well. So you see how this is connected? It's like the same information, but just a different format. It's kind of scary, <laughs> but I like it. It's kind of fun. Um, and in your dreams, you tend to tell the truth. So me being like, I don't care. Um, that I'm gonna be cold I probably really don't care that I'm gonna be cold um, hopefully um, as time goes I want to see when everything comes full circle like when am I actually gonna be cold um, and what is it really gonna be about you know what I mean because as at this point I know I'm gonna be cold but I don't know how <laughs> in what way yet so I'll let you know when I do so the white hoodie white is the color of like purity and innocence and happiness it's a good color overall like all the meanings that um, correspond with the color white are good and then the color black is not always negative um contrary to popular belief um black can mean like feeling despair and loneliness anxiety um it can be like interpreted that way but also it can be positive too like a blank slate black is also the color that represents hidden potential um so those can be good aspects i think that the meaning of the color black in my dream was meant to be positive because obviously i wanted to wear it like i really liked the skirt i liked the outfit that i was wearing so therefore i associate it with being positive so i don't think that me wearing black in my dream was supposed to be negative because i didn't feel any negative emotions towards it but if i was wearing something black and I didn't want to wear it then I would associate that with being a negative experience or negative emotion negative thought but since I, it was positive and I was feeling good then I believe that it was a good thing that um, it was positive that I was wearing it after that I woke up so now we're gonna go into the very last dream so this dream takes part so this dream the last mm. <laughs> <laughs> so my last dream takes place in my childhood home again childhood homes are homes that are or homes that are familiar like to you they um serve as like a reminder to remember something that happened during that time i'm in my childhood home and my mom and i are having an argument like we're arguing well she's arguing with me about 
going somewhere with her like she wants me to do something and I'm not gonna do it like that's what the argument is about um so I'm in the room and I can it's again with like the Jake Paul story that I told before I can hear her but I don't see her but it's a familiar voice so that's a good thing and it's my mom so I she's like in the house she's like walking around and she wants me to do something but I'm not getting ready to do it like I'm being so stubborn in these dreams I'm being so stubborn um so I'm looking through the closet to get different clothes because I'm about to change my clothes yet again like I'm about to change my clothes again and uh, what happened yeah me and my mom are arguing and my uncle is there and the door is open and you have to like know because be, a door being open means a lot of different things if it's open to towards the outside or if it's open towards the inside it can mean two different things so take into mind that the door is open coming in towards me so the door is open and it's swung open towards me and it's open and so I can hear her she's talking to me and I'm talking back to her but I don't think that she can hear me talking back um, because everything that she says doesn't correlate with what I'm saying to her she's just going on and on about she wants me to do something I don't really know what she wanted me to do but she wanted me to do something and I'm still picking out clothes because I'm about to change clothes so I pick out um, I think th it was a, like a black crop top or something like that something that I will wear to a party I like slam the door but I don't think she heard it because she didn't say anything like about me slamming the door but I slammed the door and then she says and I'm not gonna tell you that I love you and then she starts crying and then I wake up so she tells me she's not gonna tell me that she loves me starts crying wakes up and I'm gonna get into the interpretation for that dream because that one's crazy <laughs> yeah this is the one that has me the most worried um because the interpretations that i found for it aren't pleasant so let's get into it so yeah like i said before having dreams about a childhood home um it serves as a reminder to remember what was going on or what happened from that time it, that you were in that space so we moved out of my childhood home when i was like a sophomore or a junior in high school and during that time I was very distant from my family because it was a childhood home it was like a family place so I think that it serves as a reminder that I need to get in touch with my family like to let them in a little more because I've always been very very bad at doing that um, going to my family like if I need something or if I just want someone to talk to about what's been going on like I usually just bottle it up and like don't tell anybody especially not my family like they would be the last people that I would tell if something was seriously going on but um I feel like the dream was trying to tell me that I need to do that so that's what I'm gonna do so my mother being in the dream um it was kind of the same thing like as the Jake Paul story where I could hear her for the most part but I couldn't see her it was kind of the same thing so again a familiar voice in your dream is a good thing it means a good love life <laughs> when though <laughs> and since we were arguing in the dream arguing in your dream means that you have internal conflicts that need to be resolved in your waking life so I need to figure out what's going on um, with myself in my waking life so that I can stop having dreams like this and I, I think that the conflict is my relationship with my family like it's it hasn't always been the best and maybe it's even going as far to talk about the relationship that I have with my mom because me and my mom's relationship is so much better now than it was um and my relationship with my dad too is better now than it was when we were living at the old house so I feel like the internal conflict is probably that like I need to open up a little more with my family. Internal discovery is so important like you have to really know who you are in this world because people always try to tell you that you have to be like everybody else and you have to conform but in reality you don't have to at all. So it's very important to like know who you are. So a closet in a dream represents 
you hiding stuff that you may need to show the world so the fact that I was like in the closet looking for something else to wear um, may indicate that I need to open up more and be myself changing clothes in your dreams represents internal change in your waking life so now here's the part that really freaked me out the most when my mom says I'm not gonna tell you that I love you and then she starts crying um, having your mother cry in a dream is a very very bad thing it's a very very negative sign and basically what it means is that something is coming and there's going to be a period in my life that's coming that is going to be very bleak and it's going to be basically it's going to be misery like I'm going to be literally miserable and um very very sad <laughs> so I'm kind of worried about that that was um yeah I'm kind of freaked out about it but so I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next. Um, if you enjoy the dream interpretations, drop a like for me. Um, it kind of lets me gauge if people like it or not. So definitely leave a like.